I'm here on the MAN stand where MAN are launching the Euro 6 versions of the TGL, the TGM and the TGX. I've got Des Evans, the CEO of MAN, with me. Des, there's clearly a huge investment for MAN. Yeah, I mean, the investment, uh, it totals now something like 1.6 billion euros. Uh, but that investment has uh, come over many, many years. We've been pioneers in both technologies, both the EGR technology and the SCR technology since the late 90s. Uh, but this represents a massive investment. If you take the whole range now from the light and medium TGL, TGM, uh, with a DO8 engine, which formerly was only EGR, we now have to combine EGR and SCR on the light and medium range. On the, uh, on the heavy range, we've had both EGR and SCRs versions, but now we've had to combine them. So it's, uh, it's been a massive investment, but we're extremely confident that this will be a very reliable, uh, very efficient. And uh, if, you, if you take just from air cleanliness point of view, uh, the air coming out of the exhaust is actually cleaner than when it went in. So I think it's a massive improvement. And indeed, it's not just a challenge for MAN, isn't it? It's, it's going to be a challenge for operators, Euro 6. Well, it's certainly been a challenge for all manufacturers, I mean, including in manufacturing and the, you know, the whole research and development behind it. But I think the real challenge now is going to be for the operators. Uh, if I look in the industry, particularly UK, something like 50% of the operators are still maintaining their vehicles. I think uh, the maintenance regime, the, the technical competence that you need to maintain these vehicles uh, is extremely high. You need special tools, you need special equipment, you need special training. And I think this is going to be a real challenge. I, I give you one example now. We, we can now, on a Euro 6 for, for a 1 million kilometer tract unit, 1 million kilometers, it won't cost you more than 3 pence per kilometer for the whole maintenance regime. Over five years, 1 million kilometers. So we're extremely confident, but the operators who want to maintain the vehicles themselves, they're going to need a lot of help. Okay, and thinking about the operators, Euro 6, is, is here, but Euro 5 isn't dead yet. So let's go and look at your Euro 5 trucks. Okay. So Des, this is the efficient line, the Euro 5 MAN TGX. Tell us more about how that's really going to help operators. Well, I think the efficient line now has been out for nearly two years, and this has proven to be, in all the road tests, to be one of the most fuel-efficient vehicles in the marketplace. In fact, we're giving away a tanker load of fuel to sort of emphasize the point. But uh, the Euro 5, uh, particularly the efficient line, is uh, our SCR version, and uh, it has tremendous fuel consumption. Um, more importantly, as far as the operators are concerned, we will still be building this truck until December this year. So availability on this will be up to December this year. For those that want derogation vehicles, it will be available up to, obviously until September, but we still make the vehicle available up until the end of the year. Excellent. Thanks, Des.